Sending things out to Chris Sadegi this morning. Chris, I know you're on a mix master in Dallas. What are you seeing out your way? Well, Tashara, we're seeing exactly why we tell people to be careful on those bridges and overpasses. You'll see up there, it actually looks like someone now has gotten out of their car. They got their flashers on. They're pulled over to the side. Now, just a few moments ago, there were probably three or four cars right in that area. That's the 8th Street Colorado exit. And it looked to me like they were just ever so slowly inching their way up on this overpass because we know how you can slip and slide. They were carefully maneuvering with their way around that car. Not only that, but down here where you enter the ramp, I saw one truck come by, took a look, saw what was up ahead. He actually put his truck in reverse and then took the 35 exit. So this is a dangerous situation that we saw yesterday and kind of nerve wracking watching this right here happened in front of us. But I also want to show you that we're pulled over here on the side of the road on grass, so we're fine. But if you step over here on the concrete, and I made this mistake walking out here, it looks like it's just wet. You don't see accumulation, but yet you can just slip and slide all over, just dragging your feet across it. So it's very slick, even though it doesn't look slick. So keep that in mind when you're driving, keep that in mind when you're walking. We had nearly 450 crashes yesterday in Dallas. We do not want a repeat of yesterday. Right now, I'm going to send it a little bit up 35 on the north side of the Metroplex where Adriana de Alba is in Denton County keeping track of things there. Hey, Chris, well, you mentioned that the ground just looks wet and I'm actually standing in a large parking lot and that's exactly what that is. You know, just from sitting in the car, you look outside and it you feel a drizzle, you know, you see the drizzle and it just seems like it's rain on the ground. But wait until you see this. I mean, I can practically like ice skate across this and I need to take it easy because I don't want to split my tail on TV. But um, I mean, it is so, so, so slippery. Uh, so this is what you're going to be seeing when you're out. You know, if you have to go out and you're out shopping or, you know, walking down a sidewalk or just any concrete type surface, you're going to see these really, really, really slippery, slippery grounds. Um, so, you know, it's it's dangerous. And I want to get into some stats that we got yesterday just from different parts of the Metroplex. I'm going to glance down because I have some numbers down here. But MedStar Fort Worth said that yesterday they had 19 falls on ice. Dallas Fire and Rescue got 46 911 calls for falls. Now, they can't confirm how many of those were outside due to the ice, but 46 calls. I mean, that's significant. Um, it's a lot higher than what they typically see in a normal day. And then in the city of Fort Worth, uh, 37 calls for falls. So, you know, we keep preaching to you. We don't want you to be another statistic. Um, if it's an emergency and you have to go out, do it, obviously. But if you don't have to, try to avoid it. Uh, we're going to send it back to you in the studio, Mark and Kara. All right. Thank you, Adriana. And of course, we